Here on Meat Eater, we have the fortune to travel all over the country and do all kinds of hunts in all kinds of conditions. And we've developed what we call the four boot rule to cover the footwear needs of hunting in all these diverse conditions. But to not confuse you, if you can count, you'll see that I have five boots on the table here. So what I'm talking about is a four boot rule, which goes to right here, and then I'm adding a pair of waders. And this is a wading boot, and I'll get to that at the end. So I'm going to start with the first boot here, and this is a six inch leather uninsulated or lightly insulated hiking boot. This is made by Loa. I wore this for about three seasons of shooting meat eater, and they're pretty much cashed out, but it's a boot that I enjoyed very much. So these boots are lightweight, they're comfortable, and yet have a, a high level of support. They're good in the mountains, they're good in flat country, they're definitely good in warmer weather. Uh, if it starts getting cold and the snow starts to fall, this is not going to be the boot that you want to pull out, but this is great for early season elk hunts, antelope hunts, anything where you're not too worried about freezing your toes. The second boot in my arsenal is a backpack hunting boot. So this is insulated, it's Gore-Tex, it's got a, a tall leather upper, and it's, it's a very stiff, heavy backpacking boot. It has, it has a very stiff footbed to help you side hill in steep country. It's warm, it works for you really well into the late season, and it's a great all-around backpacking boot. When, you, when you're carrying a heavy load on your back, when you're going to pull out a big animal off a mountain, this is your go-to mountain boot. The next boot is a pack boot. This is made by Schnees. And what this is, is a lightweight, cold weather boot that still works really well for hiking and for action. You can wear this boot in a tree stand, hunting for whitetail. You can be sedentary in this boot and it has insulation that will keep you warm. But it's light enough and it's built correctly that you can also hike up mountains through the forest and be active in this boot as well. It has a rubber sole which is very good for traction, it's good for snow, it's good for ice, and then it has a leather upper that is fairly waterproof, helps keep you warm. It's just a rugged, great all-around boot. One of the important parts of these boots is that they have removable felt liners. You can get some with removable liners and some without. I recommend you getting removable liners because you can pull the insulating material out of your boot. It's separate from your boot. And the advantage of having it separate is that you can bring a couple pairs on a hunt. And if they get wet one day, you can dry them out. You can go back and exchange your wet liners for your dry ones each day. The fourth boot in the four boot rule is a knee-high rubber boot. Now this model specifically is made by Eagle. They're a European company and this is an insulated boot. In Alaska, everybody runs around wearing extra tufts. There's a couple other brands that make knee-high rubber boots in the United States. And they really, really are a very useful boot to have around. There's some situations in hunting where these come in handy. One of those is where scent is an issue. So if you're a bow hunter and you gotta climb into your stand and you're really worried about scent, rubber does not hold scent very well. So what you can do is you can scrub these down, clean them up, rub some dirt and mud on them, and really have a very scent-free boot walking into your stand. Other obvious reasons that these are really great is for any kind of wet country. Any low country hunt, any marshy hunt, or even any rainy day, if I know I'm suiting up with my rain gear all day long, I would love to have these along to really stay dry. One thing on the negative side to this boot is this isn't really a mountain boot. There's no ankle support here. It's just, it's just rubber and then a, a solid rubber sole. So this is not what you want to climb up a mountain in. There's not support and you could get super blistered up or even get yourself into a pickle. And then the thing that breaks the four boot rule is a pair of waders. Here I have a pair of waders, chest waders, Gore-Tex made by Sims. They're a sock foot wader, which means that the boots are not attached to the wader. You put the waders on and then you put the wading boot on over top that. Now this specific wading boot is my go-to for hunting. This is a Vibram sold wading boot. A lot of wading boots are felt sold, which help you grip rocks while you're fishing and things like that, but what I have found is I do a lot of cold weather duck hunting and wearing a felt boot in the cold weather tends to freeze up. That boot, that felt sole freezes up and you get these big blocks of ice, whereas this Vibram sole stays free of ice and is safer for wading in water in cold temperatures. So that's your four boot rule, 
plus waders, if you line yourself out with this spectrum of footwear, you're going to be able to pretty much go anywhere and hunt anything.